Hello friends. So we have been solving the JE mains paper of 2017 and we are solving the physics section of as of now. The set D is, D is the set which we are solving and this is the second question for physics that is a question number 32 of set D. In the question it has been given that in order to find the surface tension of water an experiment was conducted and following were the readings. The diameter of the capillary in which the experiment was conducted to find the surface tension was 1.25 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 meters. The height or to which the water level ro uh, rose in that particular capillary was 1.45 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. We have also been told to take the value of G uh, that is equals to 9.80 meter per second square. Now in order to find the value of surface tension, a predefined or a simple formula has been given to us. We formula diya hua hai. So that is equals to RHG by 2 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per meter. Now we have to find what could be the possible error in the surface tension value that we are going to calculate using this apparatus, this experiment and this formula. Now in order to find the error which can be calculated, I'll just go via this formula and kindly note that these are the values which we need to use while doing so. So I know that my tension, surface tension value as given by the formula can be calculated by R H G by 2 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per meter. Now I know that my R is the radius of the capillary and we have been given the diameter. So I'll just replace R by R by 2 and thus uh, R by 2 factor, oh, sorry. So I'll just replace R by D by 2 because my radius is nothing but half of the diameter. So using this in this particular formula, I get D H G by 4 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per meter. Now what I need to do is in order as we know that in order to find the value of the error in a particular this we need to use log on both sides. So my log t would be log d plus log h plus log g minus log 4. At this moment I'm just uh, not using this entire term. Now I know log g and log 4 would have definite values because g is constant, 4 is a constant value. So the error in these two values are not possible. The error can only be in log d because my d is something which we are measuring with the help of an instrument and hence it can have error. Similarly, h is something which is measured using an instrument and it can have error. So the error in t is possible only due to these two values. And as we have been doing so far, the log t, I can use the value of delta t that is the error in t upon the value of t as equals to delta d by d plus delta h by h. This is what we have been doing every time in case we need to find the error. Now my maximum value of delta d can be nothing but equals to 0 0.01 and the value of d is nothing but 1.5. Here my value of delta h is also uh, can maximum be equals to 0 0.01 and my h value is given to be 1.45. As when you solve this you get your final answer to be 0 0.015 or if I have to express it in terms of percentage that is the possible error in terms of percentage in surface tension it will come out to be 0 0.15%. So the maximum possible error in the calculation of surface tension using these values and this formula can be 1.5%. I hope you understood what the exactly question was and how do we get to the answer. Please stay tuned as we are uploading more number of solutions as we go.